Assalamu alaikum and good morning. Today we are going to do the experiment table galvanometer figure of merit. So in this the aim is to determine the resistance of the given galvanometer by half deflection method and hence to calculate the current sensitiveness and voltage sensitiveness of the galvanometer. So in this the apparatus we require are battery, key, you have three resistance boxes P, Q and R and the commutator and this is the galvanometer. So this is the circuit given. So the connection will be in series here from battery positive of the battery to one end of the P. So there is no positive and negative terminal in this P, P, Q and R. Right. So you can connect to one end of P. So from P take the wire give it to R. The other end of the R to the uh, one end of the commutator and the other end of the commutator to where this P and Q joins. So you can either give it to one end of P or one end of Q, right? And the other end of Q to key and the other end of uh, the following end of the key to negative of the battery. And the top of the commutator has been given to the galvanometer. So this is the circuit connection to be made here, right? And what is the formula we make, we make use of it? Here you can see. The formula here is V s is equal to E by P plus Q into P by D volt per division and current sensitiveness formula is E by P plus Q P by D into 1 by G ampere per division. So you have P, Q are the resistance introduced in the boxes which is P and Q measured in division followed by you have the accumulator EMF of the accumulator and capacitance of a capacitor. I think here you are not going to use the capacitor so you can neglect. So deflection and division and resistance are in ohms right and here uh, this is the uh, thing uh, I just want to show you with the circuit so if you go with it so you have battery key P Q and R so I will just see uh, you can see here this is the battery supply which is of 2 volt right and you have a key P Q and R. So this P has been measured in, uh, in 1 into 1 and here you have 0.1 and here the Q the maximum value to be placed in terms of 100 so you make use of 4 dial boxes which is in terms of 1, 10, 100 and 1000 and you have a resistance which is in terms of 1, 10, 100 and 1000. So here this is the galvanometer and you have a commutator, commutator these two are the top of the commutator and these two are the uh, bottom of the commutator and here you can see these two top of the commutator to be connected to the galvanometer. So from the circuit you can relate it these two top of the commutator to be given to the galvanometer and other end of the commutator to PQ. So before I go I will just show you how to connect the circuit. So here first place the resistance boxes in this way. First thing is battery key PQ and R. So you have battery key PQ and R followed by you have a commutator and the galvanometer. So from the battery to P. So I have given from the battery to P right and from P to R. So this is the wire from P to R and other end of the R to commutator. So this is the way we have connected so other end of R to commutator and here you have the wire that joins P and Q. So you have the wire P and Q other end of Q to you are going to give it to key so that we have given here key right so other end of q to key and you have peak where the pq joins so this is the wire from this you should take one wire give it to the commutator so i have given it to the commutator so this is how you should connect so how to proceed with the experiment so here you have the first part here is in this you can see the tabular column. So here you see EMF of the accumulator which is of 2 volt and we supposed to find PQ which is of 500 and that is maximum ohm. So such that the deflection should read 30 division. So here if you see uh, adjust this first every all the resistance you keep it at 0. Okay. So I have switched on and you can see uh, all the resistance adjust it to zero everything should be in zero first step is everything every all the resistance should be in zero now you adjust only p 
so you keep it at maximum which is of 10 ohm okay adjust p at 10 right so 1 into 10 is 10 ohm the, this is the point 0.1 dial keep it at 0 now go to the q q we will be adjusting it to get the maximum deflection uh, which is 30 so here resistance r is 0 throughout for the first part for this tabla column maintain r equal to 0 so it should be r equal to 0 for this particular tab right so we will be keeping this r to be 0 here so i have kept everything here for the resistance r equal to 0 now we will be adjusting to get the maximum deflection in the galvanometer so now you adjust in terms of 100 so if you adjust it you can see the galvanometer which deflects and check whether the commutator is on one side right so i have adjusted the commutator which is on the one side so now you adjust the resistance boxes such that it should read the maximum deflection which is 30 so now you can see here uh, it uh, it points on 4 4 in the sense 4 into 100 is 400 so the uh, pq value which is of 410 ohms so q p is 10 and uh, q is 400 right so 100 into 4 which is 400 so the total is 400 ohm so you have p plus q as 400 ohm now we will be having uh, here in this for this for this girl she got it as 509 ohm whereas for you it recorded as 410 right so now will i'll be placing it as p as 10 q as 100 sorry 400 now i have placed it naming this as division 30 so the first value here for the left side which is 30 for me okay and simultaneously you rotate the commutator it should read the maximum value which is of 30 here now for the second tabla column resistance to make half deflection for this resistance to ma make half deflection for this uh, we should adjust 30 uh, that is the deflection is 30 divide by 2 which reads 15 right so i want you to adjust the resistance box to reach 15 for this i'll be adjusting in terms of tens so i want you to get the value of 15 now you see you can go with this value which is of 100 you are getting it as so this is the value you are getting for 100 into 10 which is of 110 ohm for this particular uh, p equal to 10 and q equal to 400 the resistance half deflection which makes us 110 ohm so you instead of 76 on the left right side you should write 110 simultaneously uh, rotate the commutator to uh, read it for the other case for this also the same it uh, lies so you can write 110 ohm so this is the way you will do it so you can take the mean of these two value recorded and here you can take the mean of this value to record and how to proceed with the next so you have 9 and 500 simultaneously you decrease the value and increase it such that the combination to read 509 ohm whereas in this case you have 10 and 400 for the second uh, reading you will be writing 9 and, 9 and 401 like that you will proceed so the same thing if you go with the second reading then you should make r to be 0 again to get this right so i'll be adjusting r to be 0 such that it goes to the 30 again so i'll be doing for the next step is uh, i have been decreasing the value of p and increasing the value in terms of 1 such that it reads now 25 so the second reading is 25 for the left and the other side of this reading will be around 28 or something so like this you will repeat the experiment. Yes, thank you girls.